and welcome back to my channel once again. So today basically I'm just filming a super quick tutorial on my everyday makeup look. This is something super easy. It's like my go-to makeup look lately and it does look really, really stunning as well. Mason is home today as you guys can see and it's very likely that he's going to interrupt quite often in this video. <laughs> You're sitting there smiling. So yeah. first I'm going to start off by just prepping my skin. So the product that I've been using lately is this one here from One. You're smiling. You're smiling. Yeah. Aww. So this is the one from One. It's complexion cream. It says coconut anti-aging face moisturizer. This is a really light, nice product and it does leave my skin feeling really, really good. Now I'm just going to prime my skin. So I'm just going <laughs> to use Skin Base from ah. MAC. I'm really liking this product. It makes my skin feel so soft and like super smooth, just kind of like ready to apply my foundation. I'm smiling. You're smiling. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. When I'm doing my like super quick everyday makeup routine, I like to do my foundation first because I find my makeup just gets done so much quicker and I'm usually in like a bit of a rush. Okay, and you guys know that I like to mix my foundations. So today I'm going to go in with these two. So I've got MAC in NC37 and I have the Maybelline Superstay. 24 hour in the shade 46 warm honey. So I've literally just got two pumps on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna start dabbing away all over my face. I just need to blend that down my neck now. So I'm just gonna use only the MAC one cause it's sort of like a thinner product. I don't like to put really thick products on my neck cause it can look a little bit too cakey. So I'm just gonna blend that down. Mom, do I like that drink? No, you won't like that drink, darling. Baby, you won't like that one, it's yucky. Now I'm just gonna conceal my eyes and underneath my eyes, so I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Pale. Because I've got eyelash extensions, I use a little brush to blend this out because otherwise I get concealer all over my lash extensions and it's a real pain to clean off while I've got makeup on. And then I just grab one of my powder brushes and just with whatever product is still on there, I'm just going to pat over my lids. So now I'm just going to go in with the same concealer but this time underneath my eyes and sort of down the center of my face just to brighten it up a little bit. underneath my eyes has a chance to crease. I'm just going to go in with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in the shade Nude and I'm going to take that on my sculpting brush from Real Techniques. Mason's got a thing with packets and he's just playing with a packet at the moment so sorry if you guys can hear that just like rustling. Alright so now I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring so I'm going to use Matte Give Me Sun. There's like another pretty much like week and a half of school holidays and I'm really enjoying having him home. We've been going out and having some like fun little adventures. It's been really nice to be honest. I know a lot of parents are like, ah, oh, school holidays, but I'm really enjoying having him home and spending time. Right, and a little bit of that under my jawline as well. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush and this is the one that I'm gonna use here. Now this is from Inglot and I actually don't know which shade it is, but it looks like this, so. I'm just going to add a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to jump to the eyes now. So the palette that I'm going to use is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Now these are literally pretty much the only two colours that I use in the palette. But the ones that we're going to be going in with today is this shade here. So that's called Salted Caramel. And this one here called Marzipan, Marzipan, I don't know how to say it. But basically these two shades are the only ones we're really going to be mainly focusing on today. Maybe adding a little bit of the semi-sweet colour in, we'll see how we're feeling. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to build this colour in my outer corner and I only want to take it to about halfway across my eye if I'm blending it across a little bit. And I'm loving the champagne shimmery colour like this, honestly. This colour is my favourite colour at the moment to put on my eyes. It's so pretty, so shimmery and just like the champagne colours I find are really flattering on like any sort of skin tones. When I've got less product on the brush, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. Now this is a really like subtle eye look for me. Normally I do them quite intense, but this is just really pretty for like every day. Next I'm just going to go into that shimmery shade and I'm just going to place that on my lid. 
So you can use your finger if you want to make this more intense. I'm going to go in with a brush first and then I'll use my finger in a moment when I've sort of placed it where I roughly want it to go. And then I'll just go back in with that hazelnut shade and just blend that back over the outer edge. So if you want to make it a little bit more intense, you can go in with the semi-sweet colour here. Um, so I'll put that on a slightly different brush. I will add it just to show you guys. So obviously you can leave the look like this. It's really, really subtle. But sometimes it can make your eyes really pop if you add a little bit of darker colour on the outer corner. So we'll use that dark brownie semi-sweet kind of colour. And I'll just place that just on my outer corner. Just to give like a little bit of extra dimension because it'll look really, really pretty. And then just going back over the top with hazelnut. Okay, so I don't know how I managed to do that, but I just sat here waiting for 15 minutes because I thought I need to let my camera battery charge because both of them were dead. But I actually took the battery out of my camera and put it back in my camera and then charged the full battery. So I thought I'd swap them over when I hadn't. So I was literally sitting here for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, never mind. All right, so I'm gonna go into doing underneath my eyes now. So I'm just gonna use that shade here again. And I'm just going to kind of like smoke that out underneath my eyes. So now I'm just going to take a tiny touch of the semi-sweet shade and just place that on the outer corner only. So I'm also going to use this same shade to highlight my inner corner. That's so pretty. I do like my inner corner to be a little bit more intense, so I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and just see if that'll help. Question also, what is your favourite highlighter brush? Because I don't have a brush that's perfect for highlighting and this one is not doing me justice and I don't really have any other ones that I can use. I'm going to go in with my Ofra Feeling Myself Highlight Palette. Now, I like to mix these two together, so I'm going to kind of dip into this one and this one here, tap it off. And I'm going to bring a little bit of that up onto my temple area as well. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of that on the tip of my nose, and then I kind of like to do it on this part of my nose here, like kind of between my eyes. Top of my lip, my chin, and I'm going to bring a little bit of that, just kind of what's left on my brush, just in these little sections here above my brows. I'm going to do my brows now, and I will do it on camera because I feel like I haven't done my brows on camera for quite a little while. So I'm using Anastasia in the shade Chocolate. Alright, so I like to go in underneath my brow first and just do sort of like a really softish line. And I do take that all the way to the front of my brow. So I'm just doing like really small little brush strokes. So this whole time I've only dipped into the product twice. I'm sort of enjoying like the more subtle brow look at the moment. So this is why I'm doing it this way. So I'm just like really light handedly going in with that product. I don't want it to be too intense and too like Instagram browy. And just give it a little brush through and make sure it's all even. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little bit of mascara underneath my eyes. So this time I'm going to take the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now I do really like this one. I just don't use it very often because it's like kind of almost run out. But I'm just going to do this on my lower lash line. Yesterday when I used this, somehow I managed to get it all up here. So I'm going to really try to not do the same thing today. Alright, this is actually going surprisingly well and Mason hasn't tried to interrupt me too many times yet. And we're almost at the end, so I'm actually really excited right now. So that's really focused. You guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, we're back. So... <laughs> Now onto the lips already. I can't believe this tutorial is almost over, but like this look is honestly so easy, but it just has you feeling like a little bit glam without putting like too much effort in. All right, so the lip liner I'm going to go in with is this one here. This is from Vanity and this one's in the shade Nude, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it literally smells like something's burning in the kitchen. 
I'm gonna just check that Beck hasn't left something on. I'll be right back. What's that smell? Hey? Okay, so I checked the house. Nothing is currently burning down. Maybe it's like the neighbors cooking something. I don't know. Do you want a slice of cheese? You want a slice of cheese? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Mace, remember the helicopter? Don't spin it, please. It's too noisy. Now that I've done my lip liner, I'm just going to apply some lipstick. So this is MAC Honey Love. Now, I like to use a little lip brush. This brush actually isn't for lipstick, but it's amazing. So this is the MAC 219S. Cup. So I'm going to... I'm going to do my makeup. What are you doing? Come over here and do it. Oh, gosh. She's got a big brush on his face doing his makeup. To do makeup. No, no, no. Don't touch those, darling. And over the top of that lipstick, I'm just going to use the shade Blankety. Now, this is also from MAC. It just gives like a really pretty sort of like sheen. We could do my makeup. Yeah. We'll get colorful makeup. Now I'm just gonna spray a little bit of illuminating spray. Now this one is from Sports Girl. So I'm gonna spray this all over my face. You can flower dirt. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in with the NYX matte finish. Finny matte? I don't know. Maybe. So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Honestly, this makeup look takes about 10 minutes max and it's super easy and you just walk out of the house feeling a little bit more glam than how you woke up. So it's nice, not to say that how you woke up's not nice, but you know, it's nice to feel a little bit extra. Subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. I love my mommy. Yay! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. That's all guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.